The latest emissions data from Germany shows that the Honda Rebel 1100 now comes with a number of exciting updates that are being produced for 2025, including the possibility of new model variants ready to greet motorcycle lovers. Now, five new variants of the Rebel 1100 are listed, namely, CMX 1100A, CMX 1100A2, CMX 1100D, CMX 1100D2, and CMX 1100D3. For the unfamiliar, the CMX code denotes Honda's Rebel line, which this time features a flagship model with a powerful 1,083 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine. Based on the latest emissions data, all five variants have met the stricter 5 Euro plus emission standards compared to the previous Rebel 1100 models that only met Euro 5. While carbon monoxide levels are slightly higher, hydrocarbon and nitrogen oxide emissions are lower, in line with Honda's commitment to the environment. Not only that, there is also an increase in peak power, with each variant now producing 65 kilowatts 87.2 horsepower, slightly higher than the previous model's 64 kilowatts 85.8 horsepower. Honda differentiates these new variants with the A model being the manual version, while the D model is equipped with the innovative DCT, dual clutch transmission, technology. The CMX 1100A2 and CMX 1100D2 variants represent the Rebel 1100T bagger model, which boasts a mini batwing fairing and side cases that add comfort to long-distance riding. Most interesting, however, is the appearance of the CMX 1100D3, a new variant without the manual version of the CMX 1100A3. This suggests that the CMX 1100D3 will be an exclusive model with DCT, which is predicted to bring a more complete touring style, possibly equipped with a new additional fairing and top case. Additional features such as the top case will require a new subframe, which means significant design changes for the Rebel 1100 line. Most likely, Honda will announce the new Rebel 1100 at one of the major motorcycle shows later this year, either ECMA in November or Intermot scheduled for December.